Welcome to another Let's Play 1001 Games, the series where I work my way through a book called 1001 Games You Must Play Before You Die. I'm your host, Gaming J. Today we are playing Donkey Kong. Classic, original, not Donkey Kong Country, not Donkey Kong Winter Freeze for the Wii, whatever that was. That's probably not the right title. We're playing the original Donkey Kong, where you actually play as Mario, even though it's called Donkey Kong. So here's the beautiful title screen, the opening. It's not very descriptive. I mean, if you didn't have the arcade cabinet, you wouldn't know what you were looking at. But I guess you would normally have the arcade cabinet. So let's hop in here. For the time, this was actually a really revolutionary game in terms of its complexity. I mean, already we have more story than we've ever seen in, say, an Atari game or anything like that. We have a goal. We're at 25 meters. And this is, well, this isn't Mario. Well, it kind of is Mario. This is Jumpman, as he was called back in the original. And he works pretty much like Mario, looks like Mario. I guess later on he becomes Mario. But right now it's Jumpman. And he's not trying to rescue... Well, what's that thing? Uh-oh. Wow. Okay. Pro tip... Don't let the fireballs touch you. So it looks at the top like we have Princess Peach, but that's not Peach either. That's uh, Pauline. So before Mario became Mario, he had a whole other life. Whole other girl. Whole other villain. It's funny how... Jeez. It's funny how Donkey Kong really became a hero, even though he started off as a villain. So as you can see, the whole point of this game is to just get as high as you can and jump over these barrels. And if you get to the top, oh my god. <clears throat> if you get to the top, something good happens. I don't know if I've ever actually really played this game. I know of it and I've seen it. But obviously I'm not doing so good, so this is just a warm-up round anyway. The hammer... It lets me kill the barrels, but it kind of keeps me from climbing ladders, so I feel like it's just slowing me down. The reason you'd get the hammer and kill the barrels is if you want points, but honestly, these days, who cares about points? It's funny to think that in the early days of the arcade, everyone really cared about getting the high score, getting points. These days, people just want to beat the game. Points are not something people worry about. How am I supposed to get up there? I wonder. Oh, that was a moonwalk jump. Did you see that? All right, we we did it. And we lost her right away. Isn't that always the way? You, you get a girl, and then a giant monkey comes and takes her away. Now, this is totally new. I don't know what to expect here. So... Uh, okay, apparently you can't take a fall. Mario got a lot better. In this early, in these early days, he wasn't parkouring. He wasn't double jumping. There were no power-ups. Man, they only give you a certain amount of time to enter your name. How rude. Uh, I did pretty good. Got second. But we're going to do a lot better than that before we give up today, guys. Okay, so this was a pretty revolutionary game for its time. I was going to talk about, uh-oh, uh-oh, what's happening? Oh, this is the, oh, yeah, I didn't insert a coin. There we go. I was going to talk about how repetitive these old games were. We just played the same level over and over and over again. And actually, I realized just now getting to level two and doing a little research for this game, there are a couple of levels in this game, so I'm kind of excited to see all of them. I guess I'll save my rant for how the really old games are just the same level over and over again for when I play something like Pac-Man, because I think that really is almost the same level. And it's kind of funny that, oh, wow, I can't believe I survived that. It's kind of funny that people did that. People played games that were so repetitive, because I guess you didn't have anything else to play. Wow, this, this is harder than I thought. I, I always wondered, though... I know a lot of older people don't really play video games, 
And I wondered if it's because their first exposure to video games like Pac-Man. And so they got this this perception that all video games are highly, highly repetitive. Because Pac-Man sure is repetitive. It's the same level over and over again, right? This is the first arcade game where we actually had different levels to look forward to. Man. Okay. I got to get in a groove here. This is, this is still practice. None of this counts. But I don't know. I mean, I guess even if there are different levels, games still are pretty repetitive. I mean, even on the higher levels, I'm just going to be jumping and climbing. So if you've done it once, you've done it a thousand times. What do you guys think? Are games inherently repetitive by nature? And if you don't like repetition, maybe that's why you don't get into games. Maybe another reason is that uh, some people really like being in control. I prefer to play a game than to, say, just read a story. Unless it's a really good story. But I like I like being in control. Some people don't. Some people want to just sit back. And so maybe those are the people who don't like games. What are these little ladders? That's funny. So maybe you could use those to, like, hide from a bunch of barrels that were coming. Like, why else are they there? I wonder if in later levels, darn it, I'm really not, I'm not doing very well. I wonder if in later levels, more of the ladders are broken. Like I've never seen anyone in any of the gameplay and in, in, in the vast hours and hours of gameplay footage I've watched of this game. I've never seen anyone climb the broken ladders. I'm playing greedy. I'm trying to climb the, the tallest ladders first. It's really backfiring. Why else would people not like to game? There's this weird thing where older adults, and I mean, everyone, everyone knows this. Older adults really don't like technology. Why is that? Oh, God. You know what it is? If the controls are a little not great. So if I try to hit jump a second time and it doesn't jump, I don't have enough time to do anything else. It's hard to describe. Look at that donkey butt. I guess he's not a donkey. Why did they name him Donkey Kong? Kong I get, King Kong. But why donkey? He's a gorilla, man. Donkey doesn't make any sense. Okay. Yeah, why, why are older people, why do they have trouble with technology? Oh, well, that was a trick. There were two barrels. And if older people have trouble with technology, does that mean that there's going to hit a critical age where all of a sudden we're really bad with new stuff? Or maybe, like, when older people were really young, there was no new technology coming out that they had to adapt to. We're really used to adapting. New phones are coming out, new games, new consoles. All sorts of stuff. Sorry, I have to concentrate sometimes here. So maybe we're used to adapting and old people aren't used to adapting. And that, and that, <laughs> hard to talk and play. So we're more used to adapting. So maybe when we get old, we'll be fine with new technology because we'll be used to having to change. So I think I got to collect all these things. But I don't know. Maybe there's going to hit a critical point where all of a sudden we're really dated ourselves. And we, you know, we can't play the new Facebook VR stuff. Uh, I can already tell that this level is going to be trouble. Trouble, trouble, trouble. Yes, you go up there. Look at this. I'm a pro. Die, Donkey Kong. It's kind of sad. Maybe Donkey Kong was just lonely. He wanted a bit of companionship. I mean, he he didn't kill Pauline. He just took her. If he was really evil, he would have killed her. Whoa, what is happening there? That, that was f something fresh. 
I don't like the. Uh, I will get the hammer because of that fireball. What? Hmm. Okay, you need a you need a fine touch with that hammer, a light finesse. I want to see these four levels. I read that there were four levels. I gotta find them now. We're not gonna stop until we see. Well, I don't want to commit to four levels because knowing my uh, reputation for these games, sometimes things don't go as planned. So how about we commit to th three, probably. Okay. <clears throat> and I just died. So when will technology get old for us? I heard that there's a backstory where Donkey Kong is actually some abused animal that Mario abused. And that's why there's this beef with them. I wonder if that is true. Because then you'd almost sympathize with, with the ape. Hmm. Okay. We have to concentrate a bit more. J. See, now I'm number one. I could quit now, but... Again, it's not about the score. Why did video games actually keep track of score? That's that's something else I've always wondered. It's almost a remnant of sports. So in sports, scores are everything. You have to get a high score. The team with the higher score wins. And I guess it made sense in the early games that they would just carry that on. So they would give you a score. And that would determine if you... I want to be on that just in case. That would determine if you won. But really the idea of having a score in a video game matter, it doesn't exist anymore. I mean, how many games do you play where you actually care about your score? Ooh, I thought I was being sneaky. I mean, I, I, I take that back. There are, there are some games. Like, I guess there's, there's hand... Not handheld, con not console, mobile, mobile games where it really matters if if you have the highest score because that's the only thing these games keep track of. So I guess it's the simpler games are really all about score. I got 800 because there's a whole bunch of barrels there. So the more barrels there are, the more points I get. You could almost jump infinitely if it wasn't for that fireball. I'm really trying to go forward. I'm not just trying to get points here, but they don't make it easy. Okay, here we go. Don't don't come down on me. Ugh. Is it smart that the barrels come down if you're on the ladder? I wonder. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder how sophisticated they got. You know how how smart are these barrels? Also, he has a lot of barrels. Where is he getting them? Don't throw that down to me. Okay, here we go. We got this. We got to stop messing up. Because there's so many more levels to be seen. There we go. Alright. On to level two. People getting kidnapped in video games is a real trope. Happens all the time. Why would an ape want a woman? Besides companionship, I wonder if Donkey Kong is good conversation. I mean, I guess he doesn't talk, so he'd probably be horrible. It'd be really boring to be kidnapped by him. He just grunt a lot. Um, uh-oh. Oh no, you can't jump with the hammer. So many rules to this game. It's it's more sophisticated than I thought. Oh, and I got to do everything over again. Do you guys remember the the Mario arcade game where it was Mario versus Luigi and there were platforms? That was one of my favorite games. They remade it in Mario 3. So if you're both on the same overworld square, 
you could battle with each other. Come on. Okay. How are we going to do this? Let's do this. Uh, uh-oh. Oh, you could, like, totally walk right by Dunk Dunk. Is he in a cage right now? Did Pauline, like, sort of capture him? What's happening? I like that there's no time limit. Because if there's one thing I hate in games, it's time limit. Ugh. I guess my bonus is getting smaller. But again, who cares about score? Wow. Okay, okay, come on. We got to pull this together. Oops, Jazz. Well, whatever. Number two. Jay's still number one. So when did Nintendo decide that Donkey Kong was such a good mascot that he should be a hero? I guess it's all about the name recognition, you know? At a certain point, they needed a new character, and everyone knew who Donkey Kong was, so hey, why not? Hero and villain is very subjective anyway. Depends on who's writing, on who wins, you know? I'm sure after Mario beat up Donkey Kong, he wasn't about to admit he was a nice guy. I was like, yeah, that guy was horrible. Definitely the villain. Oh my god. How are you supposed to do this? Like, legitimately. Well, that was uh, that was a pretty good run. I have two lives. Okay, come on. Gotta be trickier. So now that I know Donkey Kong's in a cage and I can go up and run past him, I think I have this. I think I have this. We can do this. Kill these two guys. The hammer's like the, the Pac-Man thing in, in Pac-Man that would would let you all of a sudden eat the ghosts. I always like that when you kind of turn the tables on the ghosts. Who's running from who now? Uh-oh. He's not in a cage. You can't touch him. Uh so complicated. Why did they add all these rules? Hmm. What did I commit to? Level three? Turns out that's a lot harder to do than you would think. Playing so dangerously. Ugh. I'm sure someone out there is like a Donkey Kong pro watching this and just thinking how bad I am. No matter how good you think you are at games, try playing a game you've never played before. See how far you get. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Like, corner me. See, but now I'm trapped. I can't jump. So, I mean, like, a fat lot of good this does me right now. I guess you should get it and run across. Like, what's going on over there? Can there be any more of these annoying guys? Okay. Yes. This is how you do it for these guys. I'm kind of in a bad position. If they would come down and die. Oh, man. I think this is impossible now. They're just going to camp it. And there's no way to kill them. What do I do? Ah! Shh. Crap. There's got to be a way to do this. I'm sure if I, someone who knew what they were doing could tell me, I'd be like, yeah, you just uh, grab them in this order. It's no problem. 
There's always order and tricks to these games where if you do something in the right way, it makes it a heck of a lot easier. Hmm. Do you guys play a lot of games in the arcade? I don't remember ever being given enough money to play many games. It was always like a treat. It was like, here's here's two dollars, which was eight games, maybe if they were a quarter each. Now there are restaurants, like adult restaurants, where you can go and you can buy like some kind of plastic card and charge it up with money and play games. But like, why would you spend a lot of time doing that? Just buy a console. There's a time when arcade games were better than console games, but it's really reversed these days, so. What else can we say about this game? What construction site are they on? Seems like if you have a giant gorilla disrupting the careful placement of the barrels in your construction site, that's a problem. Crap. Well, you know, you only need four levels when uh, the first two are near impossible, so that's something. Do you ever see the documentary King of Kong about all those people who are obsessed with Donkey Kong? Why Donkey Kong? I'm sure they could tell me. I'm sure there's a reason. It's like, well, to the uninitiated, Donkey Kong looks quite simple. But let me tell you, there's some high-level strategy going on. It is the game of kings. Okay, we'll just do this. This, this. See... I like in the new Mario's how when you jump, you can control yourself in the air. This one, I got to decide when I jump because once I jump, I'm committed. I don't have any choice about where I land. And that is trouble. Hey, baby. See ya. Imagine this was like a metaphor, like the creator of the game. He went to a bar one night and his girlfriend was stolen by this like really big big beefy guy and he was like well i'll make a game about a gorilla that steals a girl and that's how i'll deal with rejection probably some truth to that there always is yes i'm gonna kill three of these guys and hopefully that makes my life easy enough that i can do this yeah how do we do this we do this do this oh yeah oh <clears throat> i missed the hammer i missed the hammer did you see what i was going for there that was that was high level strategy not messing around i'm figuring this game out one level at a time i wonder how long it would take to make this game? If you were to make it now with modern technology, it would take an evening? Take an hour? How hard is it to make Donkey Kong? Crap. I don't know if we're going to get to see level three. Whose umbrella's hanging around? This is a purse. Oh, this is Paul. Is this Pauline stuff? You just leaving her purse stuff hanging around. Not falling for that, dude. Oh, but see, I screwed myself because now I can't. Really great when the power ups hinder you. Okay, fireball. Ah. See, I started to jump, and then I saw him do something, and I couldn't do anything to adjust my jump. Okay, we really... So, apparently, the hammer is really important, because you really do have to kill these fire guys. Or they really make it impossible. I want to kill this guy, too. Come down. I'll settle for your friend here, though. Okay. So, I've killed a lot of them. Ah, God. I think what I'm learning about old arcade games is they're not so much fun as they are a system for stealing quarters. 
Would anyone tolerate this? So if they made a modern game that was this hard, most people probably wouldn't play it. I mean, have you... So there's that game, I Am The Guy, or I Want To Be The Guy. It's like the hardest game in existence. And it has a small cult following, but it's not like everyone plays it. People don't want games that are hard. People, people don't have time for this. How many times can we play this first level? The funny thing is, even if we see level 4, level 5, we're just going to be back here. Donkey Kong. What's also interesting is there are four levels to this game, but this is probably the only one people could actually recognize. It's the most iconic one. And you know why? Because no one can get to the other levels. It's too hard. I'm complaining a lot. What do you think? You think I'm being unfair? I didn't get any points. Should games be easy or hard? That's a good question. Pauline's like dancing up there. You know what? She's not even upset to be kidnapped. Oh, she's screaming help. Okay, she's upset. See ya. <clears throat> I think games should have a mixed level of difficulty. I remember as a kid, if you had a Nintendo game, or a Nintendo, yeah, a Nintendo game, uh, see, now there's no point in getting the hammer. Or maybe there is. See, like, what are you supposed to do here in this scenario? Just die. You failed. This is a, is this a bonus stage? It says bonus. I guess it's just, uh, if you clear the level fast enough, you get a bonus. So, <clears throat> should games be easy or hard? I'm of the mindset that they should be passable. This is just ridiculous. And you know what's funny? You know what I, I cite as evidence? As soon as they stopped getting a quarter for every single time you played the game, games got a lot easier. They were only this hard when they needed, when every single time you failed, they got money. So they were like, well, I'll make you fail a lot. That's how we'll get your money. Because when they charge you 60 bucks for the game and it doesn't matter how often you fail, they got your money. Then all of a sudden they made it a lot easier. They're like, well, pff, let's make the game playable now. Okay, so this is a Nintendo game. Will I be able to post this? What's Nintendo going to say? You know how Nintendo sends uh, takedown notices? I wish they would also send, like, good job notices. Like, if, if they saw a Let's Play and they were like, well, you know what, we really actually like that one. Good job. Keep it, keep it up. Oh, my God. Hey, you can just jump vertically. That's, uh, I don't know how that will help me. Nintendo. I always had Nintendo as a kid. I knew some people who had Segas, but it wasn't many kids. I hate when he goes up there. What am I supposed to do now? Just inconvenience me. Okay. We got to get this one. See, now we're in a lot of in a lot of trouble. Like, I'm just cornered. Just finish me off. Ugh, they, and they just keep coming. Back off. Move randomly. Ugh. And the controls are so sloppy, you can't even get down the stairs. You know what? Donkey Kong is a beloved arcade classic. I'm going on the record here. This is not a good game. It... It definitely has a place in history where it introduced a lot of things. But I'm not having, you know, I'm not having fun here. 
I said in one of my previous videos, I need a stricter criteria for figuring out whether you should play a game before you die. This is one of the first ones that I'm going to maybe say no to. Because this has just kind of been a frustrating ordeal. Which, you know, maybe it's on me. Maybe if I was better. Okay, come on, come on, go, go, go. Hindered by the power up. Oh my goodness. Yes. You know, I guess the, the first or second life, I actually did this bonus stage and I thought it was easy. Can't believe how much trouble I've been having to pass it since. Okay. All I gotta do is this first stage and that second one again without dying. And if I do that, then we can see level three. I'm just gonna do this. this. Look at all the points I'm getting. I mean, even if we don't get to level three, at least we got all these points, right? That don't mean anything. Ah! I like how they trick you. Yeah, you have a power up. Don't worry about it. Suppose it's my own fault for not paying more attention to when that power up's gonna end, but. What gamer blames himself when they, they do bad? You have to blame the game. You got to. Oh, goodness. I think I realized what I'm doing wrong is I'm always trying to jump forward over the barrels when I could just be jumping straight up in the air. Like how it breaks his heart every time. This, see, maybe... Ooh. Well, I'm clearly dying on this level, but hey, at least it's something different. Like, how are you supposed to get past whatever those things are? Ugh. Darn, that was cool. That was a neat level. They were like moving platforms. All right, let, let's do one more time. One more. Mom gave us eight quarters, so we're going to use them all. So yeah, the broken heart makes me think that maybe Pauline's going with Donkey Kong voluntarily. I mean, why else would Mario's heart be broken? He's so happy to see her, and then she's going off. Hey, we've all been there, man. Just give it up. Just not that into you. She likes, likes the big hairy guys, as some women do. You never say that about a guy. He likes the big hairy women. Mm. Definitely not a common thing to say. Gonna get this barrel. Look at that. You just gave me points, Donkey Kong. Imagine you did things in real life and when you actually did something, it was like Bulloodoo, Bulloodoo. You filled your tax return. Bulloodoo. Eight hours of sleep. Kind of motivate you to do more more things. Floss. I hate flossing. I should do it more. Okay. The trick is... Crap. Uh, well, I lured him down. Ah! That's one of the most frustrating parts. Yeah. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to recommend you play this game. I was excited for Donkey Kong. It's Donkey Kong. See, look. Can you get it and then just... Oh, God. Get it. Get it. Get it and die. Hmm... We're doing very poorly. Embarrassingly, embarrassingly poorly. Donkey Kong Country was way better than this. I'm going on the record. I 
again, I'm not, I'm not, dis, you know, trying to displace its place. I mean, jumping and Mario and all this stuff, so unique, such a, such a great idea. Just gonna play it safe. But, you know, in terms of execution, in terms of whether it it holds up, at the time, you know, if my options were Pac-Man, Space Invaders, or this. I would probably play this, I won't lie, even though I find it quite hard. But in terms of does it hold up, I don't know if it does. Did you hear about the, the dad who created a hacked version of this for his daughter so she could play as Pauline rescuing Mario? I think that's pretty fun. It's neat that we live in a time where people can do that. It's like, you want to play as Pauline, sweetie? All right. Give dad a hex editor in an evening. I'll do it. How would you even begin to do that? Well, you would load up the hex editor and type find Pauline. It's definitely not how it's done. I, I yearn for the days when we have computers that actually understand our requests. You know, like in Star Trek, they never had to program anything. Jordy would be like, computer, give give me a spectral readout of gamma sector and be like, yes, sir. These days, scientists have to program their gamma specter readouts. I like to say, computer, access the working memory of the Donkey Kong ROM and replace Pauline with a cheeseburger. And replace Mario with Luigi. Because Luigi, Luigi was never trying to save anyone. Luigi was trying to save himself. He knew what was up. Uh, I'm dead. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Okay. I'm not Jay anymore. Now I'm no because I, I can't believe how poorly I did at this game. There are four levels. What's the fourth one? I've like dominated the high scoreboard. It's, those are probably really low scores. If, if you're good at Donkey Kong, I'm sure th those scores are nothing to you. Probably like rounded out, nine, 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 nine. All right, what did we learn today? We learned that they really wanted your money back in the day. Hey, look at title screen. They, the games are really hard. I don't know if it's even advisable to make games this hard anymore because probably no one will play it. Unless your thing is this is a really hard game and that's the appeal. And, you know, I want to be the guy is one example of a game like that. But this, I don't know. I couldn't see playing this. I'm sorry. Again, it's classic. It deserves respect for all the, the innovations it had. But later Mario's just did such a better job this is this just I didn't find this super fun I don't know I don't think I'll play it again sad as that is well hey if you like Donkey Kong maybe you should upload a video and show me how it's done because clearly my Donkey Kong skills are subpar and that's probably why look he fell off the lowest thing and just died that's another thing that annoyed annoyed me while I was playing this is you couldn't really fall from any height. Why are you such a wuss? Man up. You got tougher in the later games, man. All right. Well, hey, you know what? I It wasn't the funnest game I played, but I'm glad I played it. Uh, and hope, hopefully you guys found my, uh, my rants and raves interesting as always. The bonus starts at 5,000, immediately starts counting down. That's another thing that I think is kind of funny in games. When it's literally impossible, that 5,000 bonus, you're never going to get 5,000. It's impossible. What if it they gave you like 30 seconds or 40 seconds and then they started to count down? So at least you had a chance to get the top bonus. But to count it down right away, it's pointless. No one's ever going to get 5,000. Anyway, um, should you play this game before you die? Eh, if it looked interesting to you, go for it. Uh, as I said, I, I think it's a very hard game. Anyway, that's it for today. I've been, if you've enjoyed this video, give me a like, give me a subscribe. And as always, I'll see you again in a couple days. All right, peace.